Hey everyone, it's Chris here from Everyday Survival Gear and first and foremost I'd like to wish you all a ha happy new year. I've been gone for a while, I decided to put my time into helping with the uh, BLF Old Lumens contest. Even though I'm not doing everything myself, my part has taken up a fair bit of time. So um, I've pretty much just been focusing on that. And now it's not wrapped up yet, we've still got a few more things to do, like we've got to hand out prizes and whatnot. But once that's done, I should be pretty much back to normal, hopefully. And so today we are reviewing the Sofren D25LR. The D25LR is a modded version of the stock standard D25, which I already own two of. I got one of the ones of the XML2s. And I now own two of the SST41s, only because Sofren sent out the wrong light. I ordered the one with the Nishia, and they sent out the one with the SST40s instead. And I was like, I've already got one of them, so yeah. So this D25LR is using a Samsung LH351D LED, and it's also using a Luminous SST20 in red. So in deep red, technically. So um, yeah, quite a different style headlamp so I wrote this myself basically I was gonna film this yesterday I did film it but where I was fishing was too windy by the time I looked at the footage it was like you couldn't hear anything but I'm gonna dub over that and um, I'm gonna make a separate um, clip of just beam shots where I'm using a gimbal and walking around so watch out for that so um, yeah what is there to say D25 LR so push and hold to turn on the red and then you push and hold to cycle modes in red and then one click will turn on the white light the Samsung 351 and you push and hold that button again to cycle modes and click to turn it off so pretty simple and easy to use um, moonlight mode it's got four modes I should say so moonlight mode is one lumen low mode 35 lumens medium mode 230 lumens high mode 500 lumens I'm not going to take this light apart if you want to see what the light looks like inside, it's pretty much basically the same as the D25S. Um, so I've put photos up of this also, so you can see the MCPCB. I thought it would be two separate, smaller MCPCBs, but it's still one, just with two earths. So the way that it's connected to the driver, I was quite surprised to see that. But um, yeah, that's pretty much it. It's still got the USB charger and everything. It does actually on top say 77 outdoors which is a um, store on AliExpress I believe so yeah um, <laughs> I tried to put a lighter tower cap on mine like I was gonna put some LEDs on the switch and I scratch a shit out of it trying to get this out so they're glued in really really tight the light is exactly the same shape and whatnot of that old light so I'll put a link in the description below and you guys can go check it out now we're gonna head outside into the yard for some beam shots and uh, see how it does. Okay guys, so we're super close up. Um, this is the Samsung LH351D, I believe it's called. Um, 90 CRI 5000K tint. Something that I didn't tell you guys, that I forgot to tell you guys. Um, but yeah, we're up really, really close. Moonlight mode is only one lumen, so you're not going to be like lighting up a whole bunch. But you know, for what I'm going to use it for, for fishing, for working in my hands up close, it's more than enough. Alright guys, so this is the 10% mode, otherwise known as uh, low mode, so mode 2. It's supposed to be 35 lumens, but it seems much brighter than that because it's lighting up the whole yard pretty easy. Probably won't be able to see the whole yard on camera, but like, it's doing a bloody well good job. Bloody well, mate. Alright, we'll cycle up to medium mode, I guess. So that's medium mode there. You know, you can basically see all the way to the end of the fence with this mode. And very, very floody, actually. Extremely floody. My hat's kind of blocking the beam a bit. But that's only up close. Super floody beam. Um, this mode's rated at 230 lumens. It seems a lot brighter than that, but... Alright, we'll go up one more mode to high mode. Okay, this is high mode. There isn't a huge jump between medium and high mode. But um, this is rated as 500 lumens, but for sure it's definitely a lot brighter than 500 lumens. You know, you can see the whole yard very well from edge to edge. I'll show you guys. I'll keep my head straight and I'll try and show you guys. So from that edge all the way over to this side. 
you can see the whole yard very good. Is it as bright as the D25S? Well, whichever model is the one that has the SST40s? Well, probably not, but it does a very good job. More than enough brightness for a headlamp, I'd say. We'll switch over to the red light now and see how that does. Okay, guys, so we're back looking at the tree. Um, this is the red mode on the lowest, which is apparently supposed to be 0.1% of the output. It doesn't give actual lumens for some reason, so yeah, I'm not too sure about the lumens. But, you know, if I throw my hand here, like, if I just wanted to tie a knot when I was fishing or do something pretty cruisy, it should be pretty sweet with this luminous SST20 in deep red. So, we'll crank it up in a sec. Okay, so that's the um, cubby house over there. That's about, what, seven, eight meters away from me. And, you know, it's not focusing the best because it is a red LED. But, you know, you can see that very easily, very good. I know it's white, so it's reflecting more. But, like, even these trees here, and this is only mode 2, low mode, 10% of the total output, so they reckon. But that's really bright. We'll cycle up. Next mode, medium mode, which is supposed to be 50% of total output. And you can see that's really bright now. Like, look at how much light that's, that's putting out. The camera might kind of track in the yard, but, you know, in front of me, there's a lot of light right now. We'll go back to the cubby house. I'm kind of standing behind the camera, so I'm blocking some of the light too. Alright, we'll switch up to the highest mode, high mode, which is 100%, and you can see, super bright. Um, this luminous SST20 in deep red is extremely throwy, so if I go from side to side... It's not quite as wide as the Samsung LED, as the LH351, not sure if I said 531 before, but it's the LH351, but it does throw very, very far, it reaches the back of the fence very easy. Uh, it's quite high output, red LED. I did also buy the new model that they just made, um, which is using um, two red LEDs and three SST20s, so I'm waiting for that to come, and I'll review that. It's using the same D25 body, so it should be a pretty good build. Alright, we'll compare this light now, the uh, D25 LR, to the um, older D25S and see how it does. Okay guys, so this is the D25S turned on, with the uh, two luminous SST40s. Uh, yeah, it does a really good job. It is what it is. It is probably brighter than the D25 LR for, for sure. But it's not like substantially brighter. It's only mildly brighter, I'd say. But it is using the two LEDs, so it could be vastly, not vastly more efficient, but it should be somewhat more efficient, considering they're only running at about 600 lumens each, and they're low CRI. Okay, so we'll turn off the D25S, and this is the um, D25LR with the uh, Samsung L351, LH351 in there, high CRI. So you can see there is quite a big difference in output, I guess. It is like basically just half as bright. So this is the uh, D25S on here, and D25LR on this side. So, yeah doesn't put out quite as much light but what you're trading for the amount of light you're gaining in high CRI uh, goodness and you get the red LED too but unfortunately you can't use both the LEDs at the same time uh, I'll turn the D25S off and this is the D25 LR on now not sure if you'd really want to use both the LEDs at the same time but it could come in handy for some situations I guess like right now maybe just for that extra out output. Alright guys, um, this has been Chris from Everyday Survival Gear, bringing you the review of the Sofern D25LR. Um, overall, I rate it a pretty good head headlamp actually, for under 20 US dollars, it's quite a good buy. There's not much out there that you can get for that price that's this well built, and although it doesn't have like all the fancy modes, 
doesn't have like oil drill or something it does the job and it does the job really well it puts out more than enough light it's built well, well enough you know it's getting warm now quite a warm day here in Australia but it's not over overheating so all in all I rate this light a very good buy for the price um, I hope you enjoyed the review guys as always like and subscribe and thanks for watching